In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use a watermark inside of Luminar AI. In past versions of Luminar, you had layers. It was easy to go ahead, grab your watermark, put it in a layer, and then just put it wherever you wanted to. It's not quite the same. There are no layers per se that you can add. However, you can use a texture adjustment from the local masking. So we're going to be doing that. And think about this. There's a few different reasons why you want to do watermarks. It's not always just to add your signature. There may be times when you need to send a photo out that's a draft. In other words, your client or the person you're sending it to may need to see if they can put the photo where they want for a mock-up or an adjustment, but you don't want to send them the final version. So you might want to put like a semi-transparent watermark over that so it says draft, and then they can do the work, but it's not with a final image until you get paid. So that's what we're going to look at today. Hi, my name is William Beam. I'm a portrait photographer in Central Florida. And if this is your first time here, welcome. We really appreciate you taking a look at the videos that we've got. We've got a number of videos here on Luminar AI. Also, check the description below. You'll find some links there to save money on Luminar AI and some other products. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at some signatures and how you can put them in Luminar. All right, so I have a folder here that says signatures. And inside, I've got a number of signatures of mine. You can notice that maybe a couple of them are black, a couple of them are white. And they're in different resolution. I've also got some with just my name. Others, if we open this up, you'll see at the bottom it says William Beam Photography. So the idea is that we want to take some of these signatures and put them on a photograph in Luminar. There's a problem, though. So here we are. We have a photograph inside of Luminar AI. I've got local masking, and I've added a texture mask. So we can go ahead and click Load Textures. And let me just get to my desktop. I'll click on signatures. And none of these are working. Why? It's because they're transparent PNGs. PNG files are not a texture that you can load inside of Luminar. So we're going to need something like a TIFF or a JPEG. So you've got a couple of problems. The first thing is, how do you get your signature? In the case that I have here, I used a service. And you can find this if you go to Google and search for a photography signature. There are a couple of companies that will provide them for you. They'll give you different options of what your signature could look like. You can buy them and download them, and you'll get something like this. Another possibility is you could sign a piece of paper, run it through a scanner, and convert it to a TIFF or a JPEG. And then we can go ahead and use that. Once you've got your signature the way you want it, then we can start working on what we have. So the idea is how do I convert these signatures into something that I can put inside of Luminar? And it depends on the programs you have available to you. You could use something like Google Slides if you don't have any program at all. At least that way you've got something that'll work for you. If you're on a Mac like I am, you could use Keynote. If you have Photoshop, obviously you could do it there. Pixelmator, there are a couple of different programs that you can download or purchase that will allow you to take your signature, put it on a document, and then you could use that document as a texture. So since I'm on a Mac, we're going to do this with Keynote. Let me go ahead and bring up Keynote. You want to think ahead. You're going to have some signatures that are white, some signatures that are black. It's going to depend upon the photograph that you put it on and where you have enough contrast for people to see it. So I'm going to start off with just this My Presentation. And you want to get a blank presentation. So I'm going to come over here to Change Master. I'm going to select blank. And now I want to take one of my black signatures. I'm going to take the high resolution one. It's always better to start off with the highest resolution. I'm just going to drag and drop this over here. And you can see that's way too big. So I'm going to grab this handle. I'm going to lower it down. And the idea is you think of this master as your photograph. This one is a four by three. If you come over here to the document side, you can change the standard size. So you, by default, you have four by three, you have 16 by nine. And you want to position this where you want to, as far as how it's going to show up on your photograph, depending upon the aspect ratio that you're going to use to export your photograph. You probably want to do this a few times. So for example, if you want your signature in the lower corner, then you'll have a version with that. We can go ahead and add a slide. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing. We'll bring this signature over. And we'll just kind of change this over here. And we'll put it in this side. So what's going to happen is you're going to export one this way. You're going to export one this way. You may also want to do this vertically in case you have some portrait modes, and you'll probably have to rotate this around. But the idea is that you want to have the slide size in the orientation that you want. 
Typically, you're going to see four by three and 16 by nine. However, you can go over here to custom slide size, and then you can choose your own aspect ratio. Also, take a look at the aspect ratio. We've got 1920 by 1080. If you want higher resolution, because your photographs are going to export at a higher resolution, you need to figure out the correct dimensions that you're going to have and put that out there. Or otherwise, the photo you export is going to be too small for the photograph that you put inside of Luminar. We're just going to keep this. I'm going to stay with a 16 by 9. And now let's add another slide blank. But in this case, we want to do something that is black. So we're going to come over here to format. We're going to change the color fill to black. And I'm going to get a high res signature that's white. Something to keep in mind while you're making these slides. When you add this into Luminar, you can't position it. In other words, you can't grab it by a handle and move it around so the signature is in just the right place. You need to create your master slide over here. Put this where you think it's going to be the right thing, and then you use and load that as a texture. So I'm not going to go through all the options that we could have. I'm going to stop right here. So I'm going to close this, and we're going to come over here to File. We're going to Export to Images. I want high quality, and I want all of the slides. And I'm going to say next. And I want to make sure I put this on my desktop so it's easy for us. I'm just going to call this WBP signatures. And I'm going to export. And you can see over here, we have three different versions that we've created, a slide for each one, and it looks just like that. So why are we making them black and white? That's going to come up to the blend mode that we use inside of Luminar AI. All right, so we're back with our photograph. What do we want to do now? Let's go ahead and load a texture. I want to have a white signature on here. I'm going to go back here to WBP Signatures, so William Beam Photography. Since I want a white signature, I'm going to choose this black one. I'm going to say Open. And then you can see the signature right there. But also, the, because it's black and we're at 50% opacity, it doesn't look quite right. So we can change the zoom a little bit. So in other words, I can make it smaller, but as it does that, it also moves the location where the signature is. So let's go ahead and change our blend mode. We're going to come down here to advanced settings. And for this one, we're going to go down to screen. And then you see the signature right there. And then we can bring the opacity up if you want to make that a little bit brighter. And there you go, you've got your signature. The problem, like I said, is if you want to change the size of this, you're moving zoom, but you can't move this square that we have over here. So that's the, the downside of why you want to make sure that the square that you have matches the aspect ratio and the size that you want to have your photograph, and also the same thing with the size of your signature. So if the signature looks too big here, the trick is to go back and create another slide with the right resolution and the signature of the size that you want to. This signature looked just fine when we created this in Keynote but the size that it was is smaller than the size of the photograph that we have here. And that's why it looks so large in this case. Now you can do some other things. You can go ahead and change the contrast. And this is affecting your texture, mind you. You can make it a little bit brighter. So that depends on how you want your signature to show. And if you need to, you can flip and move your signature around. Let's go ahead and we're gonna get a different photograph. We'll choose this one, say edit, and now we want to add a signature with black. We'll add a texture, load textures, and we'll choose this signature. We'll open this up and zoom this in a little bit. We'll go to a blend mode like darken or multiply. I think darken works best here. And you can bring up your opacity. Make sure you've got your signature all the way there. So the downside, as I said, is you can you can move the zoom in and around and give yourself a little bit of direction of where your signature or your watermark is going to go. But overall, it depends upon the resolution of your photograph and how you create your watermark, wh what size it is at that resolution. So we created this at kind of an HD resolution, but the photograph is much larger than that. So that's why we're seeing a difference here inside of Luminar. It's because of the overlay that we created. So this shows that you can use 
a dark signature like the black one I have here or a white signature. The difference is you simply need to put it on a white background or a black background so you've got contrast there and then use one of the blend modes to fit it in there. So I hope that helped you out a little bit. Thank you so much for taking a look at this demo on how to add a watermark. If you'd like to learn more about Luminar AI, I have a course available. It's called Luminar AI Elements. I go through every single thing inside of Luminar AI, from how to install it, what the user interface is like. I go through each and every tool and every slider in every tool and every option that you have and explain what they are and how they work. Go to williambeam.com slash courses. You can take a look. Also, if you don't have Luminar AI yet, you can buy it using my affiliate coupon code, which is same as my last name, Beam, B-E-E-M. You'll save $10 doing that. And if you send your receipt to me, I will give you the course for free. Instructions and how to do that are on the page. Just go to williambeam.com slash courses. Take a look. And I hope you enjoy that. Thanks so much. We'll see you again next time.